Now, in order for you and me to truly experience healing and hopefully total remission from any variation of IBD, we literally have to re-support, re-establish, rebuild our gut probiotic systems living inside of our body. So when we're talking about IBD, colitis, ulcerative colitis, Crohn's, we're talking about immune system activation or just this heightened reactivity of our immune system regarding the food that we're eating. Why in the heck is that going on in my body? Well, it's because there's a disruption in our healthy probiotic flora living there. Let me explain. So when we eat food, let's say I'm sick and I take some vitamin C, um, it, when that goes into my gut, I actually have a specific receptor site for that vitamin C, a docking site, or let's say some sugar or anything else, I have specific receptor sites for that. These receptor sites give my immune system chance and time to uh, establish tolerance to my food. Basically, it watches what I'm eating. My immune system watches what I'm eating. It says, okay, I'm sick. He's eating from some vitamin C. Good for him. Let me absorb it and not react to it and move on, carry on throughout my day. So the vitamin C you know, helps me get better, whatever. Anyway, the point is there's no infl inflammation associated with this type of absorption. Now, it just so happens that there's things in our diet that don't cause this to happen. They actually cause the opposite. And how they do that is quite easy and simple. Basically, in our intestine, we have these epithelial cells. And in between each epithelial cell, they create this tight junction. It's literally called a tight junction. These worm-like projections interlock with one another and they form a solid seal, which forces the absorption of my food through these specific docking sites, these specific receptor sites. Well, foods like, let's say, wheat, for example, stimulate this thing called zonulin. And zonulin will be, a, will be absorbed, and it goes to these tight junctions, and it causes them to relax and loosen up. This is a huge problem for you and me because when they loosen up and they relax, food or stuff that's in my intestine no longer has to use these specific docking sites for absorption. They just trickle right on in. And our immune system sees this opening up, this loosening up of the tight junctions and this steady stream of just who knows what, God knows what, coming into the scene and they react. They have grenades, they throw these bombs at it, and it just creates this entire block party of just inflammation, cramping, bleeding, ulcerations going on simply because these tight junctions were broken. This is where probiotics come in. Probiotics have these, these metabolites, the, the, these byproducts of their metabolism. They're called short-chain fatty acids. Uh, maybe you've heard of them. Maybe it's butyrate, propionate, succinate, acetate. Uh, anyway, they're the, the, these short-chain fatty acids. And they stimulate our body to rebuild and fortify these tight junctions. And when our tight junctions are healthy and strong, it forces the absorption of our food through the specific absorption sites, and then we build immune system tolerance to the food that we're eating, which is key and fundamental for any variation of IBD. Because remember, when we're talking about gut inflammation, we're talking about immune system reactivity. And the uh, establishment of these tight junctions totally can change the game when we're talking about inflammation and immune system reactivity. Now, furthermore, probiotics also stimulate, via their byproducts of the short-chain fatty acids, they stimulate my body to create this stuff called secretory IgA. So we all know that there's, there's like bad things in our, in our environment, bad things in our food that we might be eating, maybe a bad uh, bacteria, whatever. Anyway, we call it bad because it can infect us and obviously kill us, but it also, if anybody with IBD, it's bad because it'll cause inflammation in our gut. Well, secretory IgA is this component of our immune system. It's called an immunoglobulin. And it's just like this protein that will grab onto anything that we would potentially react with and neutralize it. 
Now, the cool thing with uh, secretory IgA, it's active in three areas of our gut. So basically, the area where food passes through, that's called the lumen. And then the physical wall of our gut with those epithelial cells and those tight junctions, these are called the epithelium or epithelial wall. Secretory IgA is also active in there. Like sometimes these cells get infected with bad bacteria. Secretory IgA can break its way in, surround the bad bacteria, coat it in mucus, and get it the, the heck out of Dodge. We don't want it in us and reduce inflammation. Now, if something gets past our gut wall barrier, and it's down here in this area called the lamina propria, secretory IgA is effective there. It'll surround whatever is causing the inflammation, coat it in mucus, and get it out of us. It is very, very important in preventing a heightened reactivity of our immune system. So the probiotics, through their uh, healthy metabolites, those short-chain fatty acids, increase the tight junctions, increase how often they form, the strength and the integrity of them. They also help me secrete secretory IgA, which is going to prevent a super reactivity of our immune system to possibly things that we're eating, possibly things that we didn't eat, we just breathed, breathed it in, and now it's in our gut, it's possibly a pathogen, maybe, maybe not. Finally, I'm just gonna leave you this, with this really quick. I made another video on IBD, kind of explaining this trifecta of destruction, and I really recommend you watch it because you'll learn so much more. Um, and I'm just gonna leave you with this one last tidbit. This FOXP3 gene, it's very, very important. Probiotics stimulate this gene to be read in our body, and it causes our immune cells to turn into regulatory immune cells. So basically, we have immune cells that just create this hyperreactivity, and they're the, the, the Marines, they shoot everything. They're doing their job. They're meant to do that. Like, they're doing what they're built to do. They're awesome at it. They can throw grenades, explode, etc. Then we have the generals. The generals tell these guys how strong they need to be and where they need to do it. And they're called like T regulatory cells, regulatory dendritic cells. They're very, very important. Probiotics stimulate this FOXP3 transcription factor. FOXP3 is the gene and a transcription factor helps us read that gene and it transforms our immune system. It gives us more generals. It increases the intelligence of our immune system. So probiotics, I'm telling you, are absolutely fundamental. Now the obvious question is, great, which probiotics? Well, obviously I'm gonna recommend the Vimerth brand of probiotics, but there's specific strains we all want to be looking for. There are, they are very, very potent uh, FOXP3 activators. The, the activators of the gene who tells you, uh, your immune system and my immune system, to calm down and be more intelligent. Uh, what are they? Lactobacillus acidophilus, Lactobacillus cassii, Lactobacillus reuter, Bifidobacterium bifidum, um, Streptococcus thermophilus and Bacillus subtilis. These strains are key and you really, really should look for them. Now I wish you all the success in healing from whatever form of gut intolerance you have. Uh, anyway, cheers.